sum all digits? How do we go from a single cell extracting each one of the digits and adding with a formula? All right, we want to see two methods to solve this. Now, the first trick is we have to extract each one of the digits. So I need to know the position of each digit. We start that with a text formula in double quotes. We say 1 colon in double quotes, and we join that to the len function. We're going to count how many digits there are. Close parentheses when I control Enter. That gives me as text a row reference, 1 colon 7. That as text is referring to all seven rows. F2, we need to convert it to an actual reference. And the perfect function that takes a text string that represents a reference and converts it to an actual reference is the indirect function. Close parentheses. Now when I hit Enter, it's going to give me a circular reference because one of the cells in that range is actually C5. Now I need to take that reference and ask, what are the rows in that reference? Close parentheses. And because I use row, when I hit the F9 key, it delivers an array 1 to 7. Those are the starting positions for each one of the digits we need to extract. Control-Z. Now, how can we extract something from the middle of a number? We can use the mid. I'm going to say, hey, look there, comma, clicking the first argument. That's an array 1 to 7. That'll force mid to deliver seven answers. The last little bit, comma, is once it finds a starting position, how many characters does it need to extract? Well, of course, one. Close parentheses. Now if I hit F9, that is beautiful. We have extracted all the digits. Now notice those are text, double quotes. So we can't just put it into some product and add, Control Z. We need to convert it from text numbers to numbers using some math operation. I'm going to use double negative, because that tends to be the fastest calculating. When I hit F9, I have exactly what I want, all the digits as numbers, Control Z. Now, because this is an array formula generating those numbers, we could put it in sum, but then we'd have to use a special keystroke, Control Shift Enter. I'm just going to put it in sum product, which is programmed to handle arrays, and it can add without any special keystrokes. When I hit Enter, that is our formula, adding the digits to get 27. Now I'm going to copy down. This formula right here will work in any version of Excel, but let's copy it down, click F2, and instead of using that construction right there, I'm going to delete that and use a much easier construction. Now this will only work in Office 365. We can use the amazing sequence function. If we put the number 7 into rows, sequence will deliver an array of the numbers 1 to 7. So all we have to do is use the len function. It'll count how many digits. In our case, it'll deliver a 7 to rows, close parentheses. If I click on that start number in F9, that's beautiful. And it's much easier to create it with sequence then with row indirect and that row reference. Control Z. When I hit Enter, I get the correct answer of 27. And that formula is much easier. All right, bonus formula number one. What happens if we have a decimal? Well, if we want to add the 4 and the 7 to the right of the decimal, well, we can copy this formula and amend it. F2. In B13, we simply need to remove that decimal. We can use the substitute function. There's the text, comma. The old text, in double quotes, we use a period, comma. The new text, double quote, double quote. That's the syntax for nothing. Close parentheses. Text, F9, just what we want. Control Z. However, len is one character too long, so we subtract 1. When I hit Enter, that's the sum, including all the digits to the right of the decimal. Now if we want to simply remove everything after the decimal, we can use the truncate function. Trunc will simply F9, remove everything after the decimal. Control Z. We better put it over here, too. And so that formula, when I hit Enter, will add everything before the decimal. All right, that was a little fun with adding all the digits. But wait a second. Well, didn't we just use sequence? And down here, we used 
two other formulas with sequence. Well, sequence only works in Office 365. So guess what? We don't need some product. We can just use some. But look at this. I'm going to have to edit one, two, three times. Here's a great trick. I'm going to highlight all the cells that contain the formula. I do not want to remove that sum product. And I'm going to go up to Home. And I hardly remember where it is because I know the keyboard. Find and Select, Replace. I'm going to use the keyboard, Control-H. Now, most of the time, people think, oh, Find and Replace is for text. But it totally works on formulas. So I'm going to search for Sum Product and replace it with Sum. Because I've highlighted the cells and I know I only have three formulas, I'm going to say Replace All. It found three. Click OK. And we got away with using some because we're in Office 365 with the new Excel calculation engine, which automatically knows how to deal with array formulas. If you want to learn more about dynamic array formulas, check out this video. If you want to learn more about old school array formulas, you can check out this video.